We're keeping the party rolling right here at Stereo Tude. Today, our special guest is musician Alyssa Bernal. Why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience? Well, my name is Alyssa Bernal. Um, I, like many people, started um, had my start on YouTube. But I like to think of myself as the OG because oh, I go dude. back, <laughs> man, yeah, the OG since like 2006. Wow. Yeah, when, you know, people are kind of like first trying it out and then yeah it wasn't as popular as it was now to do covers. So. so what were you doing in 2006 on YouTube and what covers were you deciding to test everything out with? So um, at the time it wasn't so strategic mm. like now you would do like whatever is like top 40. I just did whatever I liked. <laughs> Who'd you like back then? Um, I loved John Mayer, Kareem Bailey Ray, Josh Stone, um, Jason Raz. so I was doing stuff like that. And um, it was so easy and so fast. Like I literally uh, stacked my camera up on a stack of books, and <laughs> it was just wow. plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it all worked out. So talk to us a little bit about the development then, from that first time that you put your camera on a stack of books and recorded yourself singing Kareem Bailey Ray to what we have with you today. Actually. The first video I put out, I didn't even show my face. I was holding the camera as like a recording device. <laughs> yeah, and people, I remember the comments are like, where are you? Like, I just see black. <laughs> I think a year into it, um, that was when um, one of my videos kind of like snowballed. I think it was like a Take a Bow Ariana cover. Oh shoot, all right, that's, that's a heavy track. Yeah. yeah, and so that was like my first video that like got a lot of views. And then, so you want to hear the whole story, right? Okay, <laughs> just a long story. I'm trying to make it like, like that. Um, so I put that out. It caught the attention of Pharrell Williams. I think we heard of him before. The so. <laughs> voice. Yeah, um, so at that time, MySpace was around. Um, at that time, I already like kind of developed a little like following. And um, my mom at the time would like skim over messages because I was really bad at it. At the time, I couldn't keep up. And so like she was on my MySpace music page and she saw like um, a message in like big letters as if like they were trying to get a hold of me for like a few times, a few attempts. <laughs> and um, so it said like, for all Williams, I am mother, like we're interested in your music. And there was like a number in the message. So we called it. We had a, we set up a meeting and they flew me out to LA like the next day or two. What? And I had to sit down with Pharrell Williams and Jimmy Iving, the head of Interscope Records. Uh, <laughs> it's just like that. <laughs> and they were the ones trying to track you down. Yeah, <laughs> Pharrell said for six months. Yeah. Well, listen, you have to get better at checking your mail. <laughs> I know. That's like an insult. <laughs> it's great the mom was right there in order yeah. to help figure it out. And I remember, like, it was yesterday. She was like, who's Pharrell Williams? He says here he wants to work with you. Yeah. And I was like, I think I've heard of him before. <laughs> so then how'd you prep for that meeting? And then what happened once you got there? I didn't know what to expect. Like, I was um, 19 at the time. I was really nervous. Um, I, oh, I didn't even pack a guitar. So like, um, <laughs> I went into one of a, we met up at one of Pharrell's studios and Jimmy Iving was there. We talked a little bit about the direction I wanted to go in. And then um, they had me play I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there I was 19. And um, then like a month later, I was signed under um, Star Trek Records. Yeah. And yeah, the rest is history. Wow. <laughs> it's been a journey though. So how often do collaborations get to happen between the artists that are on a label? Have you teamed up with any? No, everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. Gotcha. And you know, it's been like a roller coaster. Like we're all such a busy dude yeah. and everyone kind of ended up doing their own thing. Um, but I was just doing this the whole time. <laughs> wow. Wow. And just being, I just remember being nervous a lot. So now that I'm, I'm independent now. Okay. Because everyone just kind of, um, all the artists are doing their own thing now. Pharrell's doing The Voice, he's just like bigger than ever now. So now that I'm independent, like, I'm grateful for that experience, you know? So then let's talk about your music today then and where you've come from, because you started off with the beachy sounds. Mm -hmm. So who are you today? Um, so I'm a big fan of like synth 
mm. and just like a really good beat and like 808s. Right. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Lord because mm. um, I love that beat she has, um, that production, and then she has like those like fifth harmonies and like super stacked up harmonies, like a choir, and just um, it's a really cool um, combination. Right. Um, but like I say, I'm really influenced by her, but if you listen to my new stuff, it doesn't sound anything like that, so I'm glad it's like my own thing. But um, it's definitely more like a darker sound than most mm -hmm. people are used to hearing from me. Um, super honest, okay. super relatable. Your hat, your hat that you're rocking right now, this seems to be something that Pharrell is also kind of in in, uh, in style for him right now too, this hat stuff. I've always liked hats though. Always, okay, that's, that's all. He may have picked that up from you maybe. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. maybe. <laughs> so tell us when we can pick up this new music of yours, what we should be on the lookout for, and maybe even some of the covers that you've recently done that you love. Cool, so I'll just uh, talk about the new music. Um, I'm going to be putting out a single in the next month or two mm. called Wasted Love. Um, instead of like, I do have upbeat type music, but this is a little more like slowed down and kind of sad. <laughs> so um, people are used to hearing like happy stuff. So I'm going to like, it's a game changer for a lot of my um, followers. Oh, my, my fans, by the way, they're called listeners. Oh, Alyssa, the listeners. Oh, like, listeners. Like what y'all did? Did you come up with that? Or they, they did. They, so yeah, right? Very so bad. clever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to put that out. Um, I do want to put an EP out the end of the year, depending on, um, you know, life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now that you've teased us, Alyssa, with all of this talk about how you create music and what your sound is like, let's listen for ourselves. Alyssa Bernal, take it away.
<laughs> Thanks for taking us into the deep oh, there, Alyssa. My pleasure. So how can we dive even deeper into your music? Oh, man. YouTube.com slash Alyssa Bernal. Facebook.com slash Alyssa Bernal. The Twitter, Alyssa Bernal. Instagram, Alyssa Bernal 89, because Alyssa Bernal was taken. <laughs> okay, there we go. We kept it as consistent as possible. Yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us here on Stereo Soon. Thank you guys for watching us. And, of course, keep it locked right here for even more fresh music news and fresh music performances like this one. Appreciate it. <laughs>